Hey all, this is Chris with Orlando in the Moment and I am here today at Universal Studios Orlando because the new ride Villain Con Minion Blast is open. The ride is in technical review and that means that they are trying to work out the glitches and so sometimes things might happen and it might not work properly. For example, the lady in front of me, um, her, her blaster didn't work. The attraction takes place at Villain Con, the convention for evildoers like we see in the first Minions movie. And after you go through the line, you start in a fan convention themed queue and it shows off booths of villains that have made appearances in Despicable Me and the Minion movies. There's some great theming and some Easter eggs in here. It's a really great place. There's so much to look at. Um, we kind of move through quickly because the line does move quickly. At the end of the queue, you're handed a blaster gun and you need to keep on moving because you are directed to step onto this moving conveyor belt that has large circles or dots um, on the conveyor belt that you need to stand on. Uh, one by one, the players step onto these dots. Um, pa parents that have younger riders, no worries. The dots are close together, maybe a little bit too close. We'll have to talk about that later. So the line does move quickly because you are loaded onto this conveyor belt. So there's no getting on and off rides. Um, you just kind of keep on walking through. So the blaster that you're given, it has two triggers. One for guns, which has unlimited ammunition, and a front launcher that is limited and it needs to recharge. As you're on the conveyor belt, you move from scene to scene with enemies to shoot at, minions holding cubes that you have to shoot at that gives you power-ups. I think I saw some fire and ice, um, but I need to ride that more to, to figure that out. Everything's screen based, so there's no ano actual animatronics to shoot at like Men in Black. From what I hear, uh, there's going to be an app that's going to keep your scores, um, but that wasn't an option during the technical rehearsals, but that would be a really great addition. So now for my review. I'll start with the positive. Kids are going to love it, especially ones who love Gru and the Minions. But there's definitely way too much going on. It's impossible to see what you're aiming at. And since you're so close together, riders keep on getting in your way and it's hard to shoot at the targets. Um, it's definitely harder for the younger ones to hold the blaster for the entire time. Um, and it's a little bit glitchy, but I'm sure they're going to fix that. The two rides that I would compare it to are Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin and Magic Kingdom and Men in Black here in Universal. I feel it's better than Buzz, but not as good as Men in Black. I give the ride a 7.5, but it's a great attraction addition for kids in a park that needed it. So there you have it. If you like this video, friends, please consider liking and subscribing. And remember, always take time to live in the moment. Have a great day.